So my husband has been out of town all weekend. He hasn't seen this. I'm gonna record his reaction to seeing my shoe declutter. I don't understand what you're doing. Are you recording my- I'm recording you, your reaction to my shoes. The shoes that I'm getting rid of. Okay, let's see it. It's down there. It's a lot of shoes. Wow. <laughs> I'll save you some room. Welcome back, Awakening Beauties. If this is your first time joining my channel, I give you a hearty welcome. My name is Robin, and this year I've been embarking upon a no-buy year, which is the primary focus of this channel for the year of 2023. If you're not yet subscribed, why not join my journey and subscribe below and give it a like if you like the video and you can hit those notification bells as well so you'll know when I upload, which is generally on Sundays and Wednesdays. Today what I'm gonna talk about is expanding upon my closet declutter. Now, my two videos of part one and part two of my closet declutter went up and I've been so inspired by that that I did that project last weekend that I've been thinking I might wanna do a little more decluttering. And first though, I have a confession. So like I said, this is my no buy year. And by that, I mean, I'm not buying clothes, shoes, accessories, houseware, skincare, makeup, unless I need a replacement item. And so far I've done fairly well. I've also put up a second quarter State of the Union video. And yeah, I, I was surprised in some good ways and then in some other ways I see that there's more room for improvement and we're always improving and that's what's so exciting about life isn't it so I do have a confession like I said I did buy something I bought some shoes but I used my Nordy notes if you don't know what that is if you're a Nordstrom card holder and you use your card for purchases, you accumulate reward points, and then they issue you these notes that are uh, good for purchases, just like reward points. So I used my reward points and I got, yes, I bought some Birkenstocks. <laughs> They're children's. So I have a women's size four shoe, which translates to like a two, two and a half in kids size. So I can sometimes save money on shoes by buying children's. And like with the Birkenstocks, they look just like the adult version. So I did get these and um, I had been talking about um, that I wish that I had more sandals. And so I started using my Nordstrom Visa for grocery purchases and paying some bills. And then I pay that card off at the end of the month. And so anyways, I did go out and I've already worn these once. I'm gonna scuff the crap out of these. I already know that because they're white and me and white, we have a contentious relationship. So getting these sandals, and thinking more about my closet declutter and what I'm holding on to and why I'm holding on to certain things. I tend to blame it on the fact that it was so hard for me to find shoes when I was growing up because I always had really small feet, especially once I got to be, you know, a, a young woman and I wanted high heels and, and things like that. And boy, I just couldn't find them. And, and it was so, mm, because you know you go to church and you see your friends they're wearing these beautiful high heels and i'm still stuck in kids shoes <laughs> because that was all that was available to me even in the early part of my marriage finding shoes for my wedding was really challenging and the early part of my marriage and anytime i could find a size four shoe that I liked, my husband encouraged me, buy it, buy it, buy it. So I, I, he created a little bit of a monster. I'm gonna blame it on him. Uh, I can't blame it on him. He still says that, by the way, because it's still challenging for me to find shoes. Not only shoes that fit, but that are comfortable. That's become a bigger issue as I've grown older. <laughs> now we want comfort. We're not so much into as much fashion. And are these Birkenstocks? fashionable well they're back in style and that's what I told my husband when he gave me the side eye about them <laughs> he's like you're becoming a real hippie aren't you 
I said, well, that's besides the point. They're trending now. So I'm very happy to have them. I do not have any regrets about spending my Nordy notes on those. I've already worn them. I know I will wear them. Like I will wear them into the ground for sure. But here's the thing. When I was doing my closet declutter, I noticed that I have a lot of shoes that I don't wear. It's very hard for me to get rid of shoes because with clothes, it's easier to find things to fit that you like, but with shoes, it's hard for me to find shoes. And it seems like ever since the pandemic, uh, the manufacturing of size four shoes has gone way down. So sites that used to carry size fours, it's there's not, it's very slim pickings. I'm looking at you, Naturalizer and Nordstrom. I don't know whether that's gonna pick back up in the future or if this is just the way the world is going, which is fine. It's not that huge of a deal. It's not like a make or break, you know, life changing thing, but it's hard for me to get rid of shoes. But I do see the need to simplify and I'm not gonna say minimalize. I'm not gonna do a minimalist shoe declutter but I do need to get rid of shoes. So we're gonna do that today. And this, I feel like I need, I feel like I need a little bit something stronger than just La Croix. La Croix sounds so fancy, but it's really just seltzer water, flavored seltzer water. So let's do this. I will meet you in my closet. Welcome back to my bedroom. First thing I wanna say is I do, Thank you for watching my videos and I know the sound quality has not been great on my other closet declutters and that's because I don't have an external microphone. I'm just filming with my iPhone and so I'm looking into getting a microphone just for filming purposes and even though it's my no buy year, I do think it's kind of important and I have an air conditioning vent up here and I have a fan here that I can't really turn off. If I did, there would be issues. <laughs> too complicated to get into. But either way, it keeps me cool, by the way, while I'm doing this declutter. So just letting you know, I'm trying to control the the, the external noise with, in my editing process, but I just wanted to let you know, and I wanted to give that explanation in case you're like, oh my God, the sound is not great on these videos. I know they're not great. I'm doing the best I can. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to take all of my shoes out of my closet and I do need to do a bit of cleaning because those shelves have gotten pretty dirty. And so I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna lay it out on the bed and we're gonna take a look at every single pair of shoes I have. I don't know how many it is. It's probably over 80, I would say. Ah, okay, here we go. Okay, these are what I'm working with. I have shoes all the way on the top shelf, boots over there, some shoes there. They cover all of these shelves. And then I have a basket full of shoes here, of flip flops. And I have a basket full of sandals. Oh, <laughs> falling over right here. And I have shoes back here too. And I don't wanna keep them back here anymore. Yeah, I have all of these Converse that I didn't have space for on the shelf. So the the goal is going to be to be able to just fit all of my shoes on the shelves. The, the exception might be all of these flip flops. I, I keep them in this basket here and I'm okay with that. But like even the sandals down there that I wear all the time, I, I don't have, I didn't have space for them on the shelves. So I'd like to have them back on the shelves as well. That is what we are starting with. Okay, boy, that was such a job. <laughs> and my shoulders killing me. I laid out all the shoes on the bed, ran out of room, so put the boots down. 
on the floor over by the wall. And as far as the boots go, probably nothing is going. I might be getting rid of one or two pair of booties. Not sure yet, but this is what we're working with. And I counted them. I have 99 pairs of shoes, 99. And if you count my Crocs, which I have a pink pair I'm wearing right now, and I have a green pair that I use for yard work, whatever that is, that's 101. So do Crocs really count as shoes? I mean, I don't wear them outside the house unless I'm camping or at the beach or something like that. Occasionally I'll wear my Crocs. 99 plus two, 101. Now I gotta say, I'm feeling very sad about the thought of getting rid of some of these shoes. And I've been listening to some different minimalist vloggers and they do say that if it's really that hard, then don't do it, trust your gut. And for me, you know, some of these shoes, although they're real fancy and I don't wear them, for costumes, sometimes I do wear them. But is that a reason to keep them? I, uh, it's really hard. It's really hard. I'm not, I'm not really sure if I should be keeping them or not. Uh, but one thing I do want to talk about is these plastic bins. I have a couple of the smaller ones up at the top of my closet for storage, but you know, these plastic bins that are advertised towards shoe storage, do not store your shoes in these plastic bins. I'll tell you why. I had stored a lot of these shoes and ones that I decluttered a few months ago when I did a little closet reorganization. I, I did one of those videos and I ended up getting rid of some of my shoes because the leather was peeling on them. And sometimes it's not leather, sometimes it's, you know, pleather, it's not real leather. But even with leather, I, I find that they are getting cracked and peeling. And so I started to do some research and leather is like skin it is skin it's a cow's skin right so it needs to breathe it needs to breathe to stay moisturized and if especially if you're in a really dry climate and putting them in those plastic bins is the fastest way for them to go bad for them to peel to fall apart for the the glue to start coming undone and the soles you know, and, and, and all the parts that might be glued to become undone. So please do not store your shoes in those plastic bins. You will thank me later for it. And if you're currently doing that, get them out of there as soon as possible. There's other ways to store your shoes that's a little healthier. You can look up some YouTube videos about it. But what I just decided to do was that I kept everything out in the open, which is why I had to like clear out things from the top shelf of my closet, all the things that were on the top, those were in plastic bins and I just took them all out and had to get rid of ones that were coming apart. So let's start down here with thing with sandals that I probably will be getting rid of. Now I have three of these Sam Edelman thong type sandals and I don't wear them. I used to have a couple more that I ended up getting rid of. and. I've had these for a really long time. I find that my feet hurt when I wear these. So uh, I was having some foot problems and, and it seemed like it was every time I wore these that they got triggered. So I'm thinking that I'm going to be getting rid of these, which is kind of sad because I don't have black sandals, flats. I'm looking down through there. I don't have black sandals, but by the same token, I haven't been wearing these at all. And this is what I'm talking about because these were stored in plastic. You see how it's peeling there? Don't know if the camera is picking that up. Am I getting rid of these? I think I'm getting rid of them. All right, all right, they're, they're going in the bin. They're going in the bin. And I have three more pairs of these Sam Edelman's, which is basically the same shoe, but it has a wider strap. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it's psychological. These don't tend to hurt my shoe, my feet as much. And I do wear them. I have silver, I have this kind of rose gold, and I have this orange. I definitely wear these orange ones. So I'm keeping these. These are new, they're staying. These are beat to heck, but I love them and I would replace them if I could, but they don't make them anymore. I'm keeping them. 
every once in a while I wear these every once in a while but they have seen better days they're sort of peeling and coming apart now flip-flops one two three four five six pairs I don't need six pairs I can get rid of these I never wear these I do wear these I do wear these sometimes I wear these I don't wear these definitely not getting rid of these these are good for hiking and being out in, in a water environment these are water shoes I've barely even worn them I'm keeping them because I probably will need them at some point I have four pair of Converse uh, I'm keeping them now this whole row here I know I'm keeping all of those but these <sighs> These are maybes. I, I might be getting rid of these. Keeping, 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 keeping. They're old. I love these. If I could replace these, I would. They were Stuart Weissman. They're so comfortable. They're, oh, they've seen better days, but I still wear these from time to time. And it, it never fails. Every time I wear them, I get compliments on them. So keeping. Now these, these are the most comfortable shoes. I had them in black. They fell apart. They're naturalizer. I'm not very happy with naturalizer's quality lately. It seems like the um, sole of the shoe starts peeling. And those were shoes that I did not have stored in plastic bins. But these two colors, this color, it's like it's neither here nor there. If it was a really bright yellow, then I think I would love it. Like if it was almost like a neon citrine yellow or if it was like really ochre, like I have a few things in my closet that are ochre yellow, I think I would love that too. But it just doesn't look good on my skin tone. And so like if my legs are showing, I don't like the way that, that makes my legs look. And the green, like I, I just don't wear them. And I think, oh, I can wear them on St. Patty's Day. <laughs> Do I keep a pair of shoes that I'm only gonna wear once a year? I don't think so. Keeping, keeping, uh, I'm on the fence about these as well. Sometimes I wear these. So I have two pair of navy slip-ons and that are suede and they're different colors. Uh, you know, this is more of a cobalt or royal blue and this is a navy. I definitely, I'm keeping these. But these aren't the most comfortable and I don't wear them very often. I, if I'm gonna wear navy or blue, I'll always go for those, so. I want to love these and they're pretty comfortable. I'm going to keep them for now. Keeping, keeping, keeping. I wish I could replace these black perforated slip-ons. I have had them for so long. They're so comfortable, but sometimes, sometimes I just slip them on and wear them. I can't clean them up. I, I need to like clean them up. And what I use is the magic eraser that you can get at the, the drug. You know, you can get that anywhere at Publix and it really does a wonder on these shoes. So I'm gonna clean these up. Okay, we're on the, where the black shoes are. Black, black, that's actually navy. That is uh, forest green. Yeah, keeping those. But these, I don't really wear them very often anymore. And I'm getting rid of them. Keeping, 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 they're all new. I got these at the same time. They're both white. They both have this suede taupe, taupe heel on them. This shape I love. This shape I don't love. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these. These are super sexy, but they're so hard to walk in. I would never wear them to work. I would rarely wear them out to dinner. If I was gonna wear a high heel, I don't have anything else that's white, and I think that's why I've kept these. These are Michael Kors, but they're just so darn uncomfortable. I'm not gonna wear them. I know me. I haven't worn them in years. I won't wear them. Now, these are really beautiful shoes. They're Stuart Weitzman. They've got this faux, I think it's faux snakeskin, um, and it's brown, and I don't have a ton of brown, but I'm keeping them. I'm keeping them because Stuart Weissman, they're very expensive. They're comfortable too, I think. Let me <laughs> try them on. No, they're not comfortable. <laughs> they're not comfortable. Let me, let me put 
the other one on. Would I wear them? The heel needs to be replaced. I'm getting rid of them. I can't believe I'm getting rid of these. I've had these so long. Okay, we're making progress. These are both Michael Kors, same style, one in taupe, one in black. I feel like I did wear these recently. Ooh, they're very sexy. That style isn't in right now, but it will come back. For now, they're staying. This is what I do. When I like a pair of shoes, I get it in two colors. I got the cognac color and the black. These are Via Spiga. None of these shoes were cheap, let me tell you. Yeah, these are comfortable. Why aren't I wearing these? They're very comfortable. Yeah, definitely keeping these. They might need new heels, but that's less expensive than buying new shoes. I'm keeping these sandals, I love them. Let's see, where are we at? I might just have to try some of these on. These I'm keeping, every once in a while I wear them. It's a nice, you know, flesh colored, my flesh colored platform sandal. Yeah, I'm keeping these. These are very sexy. My husband loves it when I wear them, but they're so uncomfortable. So, and these, I, they're just really beat up. I wonder if I could get them fixed by a shoe repair place. I've had these for so long. And I always have to put like different kinds of inserts into my shoes because even size fours, well, my right foot is smaller than my left, which is common for most people. So, I, yeah, ooh, ooh happening did my feet grow the back always the heel always slips on this and I even have a heel insert in it maybe I need to put a better one in there so here's the thing when, when next year when it's when I'm past my no buy year assuming I don't do another no buy year I want to replace these with something else but until then I'm going to keep them now like I said I have trouble because my feet are small and I'm always having to put little inserts and things in. But look at these. I mean, those are dangerous. And look at what good shape they're in. I've only worn these like maybe three times. And you guessed it. They're so uncomfortable. So <laughs> extremely uncomfortable. I, I'm not going to wear them. I won't wear them. But they're like in, other than the little inserts, you know, which can be taken out and should be fine. Yeah, that one just popped right out. Other than these things, these are in perfect shape. But decisions have to be made. I, I have too many shoes. I'm minimizing. I'm doing this to free myself. I'm freeing myself. This is for a good purpose. And I'm not going to miss those shoes. Although... You know, and here's another reason why it's hard to get rid of shoes. Because there have been times when I have gotten rid of shoes that I thought, I'm just not going to wear those. And guess what? A few years later, I said, what happened to those shoes? Oh, you got rid of them. Keeping, I don't wear these, but I should. They're very dusty because they were all at the top of my closet. Because these are really comfortable, actually. So maybe just having them down will encourage me, if I have them more accessible, that will encourage me to wear them. I'm keeping these every once in a while I wear them and I really should be wearing them during summer because they're so, so cute and summery. But it's, de it's definitely a date night shoe. It's not a shoe I can wear to work. These are sitting shoes. I'm on the fence about these. I'm gonna put them on. They're so cute, they zip up the back. I'm not the most graceful person. That's another reason why I don't, I tend not to wear heels because I'm not super graceful, but these are really sexy. I feel like I should be wearing them. I feel like my husband and I need to be having some date nights where I wear these shoes. Problem is I don't think I have anything that really goes with them. I have to look in my closet and figure that out. Hmm, I'm keeping them for now. Making progress. These are the fancy shoes, the metallics, and occasionally I will wear them and you know, these are sitting shoes, definitely. But these, actually, these two pairs are pretty comfortable. Oh, I loved these. My husband bought me, he either bought me this color or black. I had, I already got rid of the black pair, but for an anniversary a long time ago, but these are, you know, these are peeling and coming apart. And again, I think it's because I had stored them in a plastic bin. You can see 
the sole is peeling off. I'm gonna get rid of them. Memories in the corners of my mind. Of the way we were. It's hard to get them buckled. They're falling apart. But my goodness, look how beautiful they are. They're so beautiful. Oh, I think I can't get rid of them. With that gold buckle and those gold studs. Oh, that stacked heel. All right, I'm keeping them for now. Even though the sole is falling apart and it peels all over my feet when I wear them. I'm keeping them for now. Keeping, keeping, keeping. I got very dusty. These are children sized. I'm gonna have to take a lint roller to these. I had them stored under my bed. You know, the problem is they're just not comfortable. It's going. Same with these. They're, they're more comfortable, but I never wear them. I don't know, but if, if I won't, <laughs> so if I have to pick between these and these, I will always wear these. These are also black suede booties and they're very comfortable and I wear the heck out of them in the fall and the winter months. So I'm definitely keeping those, but I think, I think I just have to get rid of these. So these three pairs of booties are new. I just got them back in the fall. I love them. And again, like why would I wear those other suede booties that I just tossed over there that I never wear, they're not comfortable, when I just got these and I wear them all the time. And you know, they're very stylish, they're very comfortable. And these are brand new, I love them, will not be getting rid of them. These are Sorrells, you know, if I ever <laughs> go into a snowy climate, I have to leave Florida first, but I did wear these on a trip to Colorado and I've worn them on trips other places. I even wore them when I was doing a walking meditation on the beach when it got to about 40 degrees down here. So sometimes I do take these to walk in when it's cold out. And then my Uggs, not getting rid of those. And then these are just rain boots. These are my other Uggs. I wear them in the winter just around the house. And the rest are just those tall boots in the back and I ain't getting rid of those. Uh, let me count the ones that I'm getting rid of. So my husband has been out of town all weekend. He hasn't seen this. So I'm going to record his reaction to seeing my shoe declutter. That's 19 pairs of shoes. So I went from 99 to 19. I can do math. 99 minus one nine is 80. I went to 80. So that's still a lot of shoes. That's still a lot of shoes. And I've honestly been on the fence about a couple other pairs of shoes. I just can't. I got, I got to see if I wear them in the next few months. I, I just can't, I can't bear to. You know, it used to be such a source of pride <laughs> for me to, showcase all of my shoes and I mean I still feel that way I love looking at them they're really you know some of them are very beautiful but I don't feel bad about the ones that I'm parting with I actually feel pretty good about it <sighs> all right now it's I gotta clean the shelves and then start putting everything back in
like I have dust in my eye. Boy, that was a, a dusty project. <laughs> so I finished putting away all of my shoes, but in the process, I made some decisions. I decided that I'm going to get rid of these, 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 and these. I think it would probably cost way too much to have to take them to a shoe repair place. And you know, I've had those for 15 years and I can let them go. I can let them go. I haven't worn them in many, many, many years. So I'm, I'm letting them go. And I feel good about all the shoes down there on the floor that I'm letting go. I just want to show you something. Look who has built a little nest for herself amongst all the pillows that I took off the bed. Oh, he's the cutest. You want to see the finished result? Remember the before? When I had shoes everywhere, I had shoes in bins under the bed, I had shoes in a bin uh, in my closet, I had shoes in basket. Well, there's still some shoes in the basket. But now, look at the final result. Now I have all of those boots, those boots on the top shelf were down here causing clutter and so I had to put the basket on the floor. Now I have the basket up off the floor back here with all of those flip-flops, little sandals. And so I was able to put all the winter boots up on the top shelf. All of those up there. Whereas I used to have them down here. They were causing a bit of clutter. And now because I took out all those extra hangers, I was able to move my dresses over and put this basket there. There's no longer any converse in any bins down here. I was able to put my gym bag on the bottom. I was able to take this bin out of here that had miscellaneous things, but then I made enough room that I was able to put them up there in a bin. And then all of the rest of the shoes. So I'm super happy because not only have I cleaned in here, which it sorely needed, but I've gotten rid of 23 pairs of shoes. And so now all of my shoes are accessible. They're all here in one place. And though I had hoped I would make enough space for all of the sandals that are down here in the basket, I'm thrilled because you know, I can still see what's in there and I know what's in there and it's not a guessing game. Usually like my gym shoes, there's, there's never a space on the shelf for them. So I'm glad that now I can have them on the bottom shelf where I can see them and access them easily. I feel like I have dust and hair and fuzz all on my face and in my eyes. It's just very simple now and it's nice to be able to just see everything that I have. This is a great step for me. I, I really feel like m tackling other areas of my house now and it's just going to be one at a time. It's just going to be slowly but surely tackling one project at a time and so that I don't get overwhelmed and making it fun for myself and seeing the final results is what makes it all worth it. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And if you have any comments, what you're organizing or tips for me as I move on to my bathroom, to my kitchen, to my office, that's the one that's the scariest to me, <laughs> which I've talked about multiple times. Leave your comments below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are, what your tips are for how you declutter and organize. Or if you found anything that I've said here helpful, let me know. I'd really appreciate it.
So until next time, guys, remember, you're doing great.